I've been teaching Yiddish song for a number of years now. Part of it is, is folk songs, which are very familiar from the European folk song tradition, but often have something fairly indefinable that, uh, that is the Yiddish element of it. Part of what I do is spreading awareness of this um, wonderful range of music that uh, Hitler, Stalin and many others have done their best to um, knock out over the years. The audience at most of our events is, is a largely non-Jewish audience, so it's very much spreading part of Jewish history and culture to people who are not heavily in, involved in it. We've got a workshop here today, quite a range of different people and backgrounds, some people who've sung quite a bit, doing different things before, some who maybe don't sing very much. So the workshops are pitched for people who don't know any Yiddish, don't know any Hebrew, don't know any German. So Yiddish is the language, the shared language of, of Jewish people in, in Northern Europe over many centuries. There's an identifiable section that is actually in Hebrew. Um, it's all written in Hebrew script, so it's written from right to left in Hebrew script. And in the workshops, we ignore that, it's all a transliteration. Spoken Yiddish, poetry, theatre, song was particularly strong towards the end of the 19th century and into the beginning of the 20th century and through up until the war. Um, when, not surprisingly, the number of Yiddish speakers crashed hugely and really post-war it's been much more of a minority, very limited number of native Yiddish speakers around now. If uh, you're interested in finding more out about Yiddish song, you can email me on philtomlinson7 at gmail.com or phone on 07539 295 Double six four. I'm happy to come to teach song workshops um, pretty well within the country. Get in touch and we'll see what we can do.